Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I was actually gonna make one video out of two. I was gonna do one whole video where I showed you all of the things that I have purchased in the last couple weeks on Amazon and at Target. And then I was gonna also show you the things that I have received at my post office box. But because I have so many things that I have purchased, and I also have so many boxes sitting in the kitchen of things that I have received from the post office box, I was like, you know, I think I'm just gonna do two completely separate videos. So today's video is showing you all of the things that I have purchased. Um, in the last couple weeks of just sitting around the house being bored and um, I wanted to show you some of these things. Well, and also yesterday running to uh, do errands with my cousin Caroline. So I wanted to show you some of these. Now I'm going to try to uh, get a little bit of a thumbnail here really quick. Hold on a second. So there's my thumbnail. I don't really know. Should I start with the most boring thing first? Okay. You know I love the show and tell so much. So... We went to Target yesterday. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, Peter, why are you showing me this? Okay, so the first thing I bought was, um, I bought Old Spice, that's the cologne, or that's the cologne. That's the deodorant that I typically wear. Now, I have to tell you what's funny about this because I couldn't find it at Target yesterday. I usually get it at Meijer. I wear the original, old, it's very hard to find, okay? I, I wear the original Old Spice antiperspirant deodorant. It has to have both of them in there, okay? But they didn't have that yesterday at Target. So I ended up getting, it's called Timber with Sandalwood. And it is antiperspirant and deodorant. So I got that one. But I have to tell you, recently, I bought this last summer, like, just to have, like, put it in my pool bag. So when I'm leaving the pool, I could just, like, you know, throw in some deodorant and then, like, a t-shirt. And I got this Degree Black and White Ultra Clean deodorant. And it's, like, spray-on deodorant. And I have to tell you, it smells super fresh. And it lasts a really, really long time. It's supposed to last, like, 40, 72 hours is what it says. But I have to tell you, like, I really, 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 really like this. So I think I'm going to go kind of like back and forth between these two. And um, so yeah, so I got this deodorant as well, this Degree Ultra Clean. Are you guys like real weird about your deodorant? Like there's some deodorants that I won't wear, but like, um, and I have to tell you like, when I first started wearing this, I wasn't like completely thrown out with the smell. But now I'm like, oh my God, I love the smell of this. It's so clean and so fresh smelling. So I got that as well. Then I needed to do, uh, get some refills of Harry's razors. So, I love Harry's razors. I don't know if you guys know what they are, but they're like the Dollar Shave Club, but I think they're better. I used the Dollar Shave Club for a long time, and then I switched over to Harry's razors. I swear by them. None of this is sponsored. I purchased all this stuff myself. <clears throat> but I swear by Harry's razors. They come, like, when you get a pack, like a big pack at the beginning, which I think is a great gift for anybody, um, you get, like, you can pick the color of the razor blade, not the razor blade, the razor handle that you want. And they come in really cool colors, like... Forest green, neon green, blue. They have all different, yellow, all different kinds of colors. And I have like every color that you could possibly have now. But um, because I end up always just buying the big case instead of getting, because they come with like replacements as well. But yesterday I got eight blades. They, the blade usually lasts me about two weeks. Um, my husband uses it as well, but I only shave like around here, here, and up and through here. So I only have to shave like every two to three days, so it's not too bad. So anyway, they last me about two weeks. But then when I was there, I love Harry's products. Like I, um, Harry had, Harry, like he's a person. I don't know, maybe he is. He, there is a, he has a shower gel that I really, really love as well that I got at Target like a long time ago. And it smells fantastic. So I also got this post- shave mist because i wanted to try this out um and i'm real excited about that it has eucalyptus eucalyptus in it and then i also got this exfoliating face wa face wash i've been wa wearing or i've been using this disco face wash and then i've been using disco uh, moisturizer on my face every single day and i really really like it but i'm almost out of it so i thought well maybe i'll try this and see what i think of this as well so those are my purchases from Target, I also got some liquid death, a case of liquid death mineral water. And did I get anything else? Oh, well I went to the Starbucks at Target yesterday and I bought some new cups. I didn't even know that Target or Starbucks had new cups out. So now, I don't know if you know this, but back in the day when I would go buy Starbucks cups, 
you would go in there and like as soon as they opened there would be a line outside right and people would get like 10 cups and then they would sell out of them like so quickly and so people would um like they would buy like 10 or 15 of them and then they would sell them on ebay for like a hundred dollars a cup well now they've limited it okay so you can only buy two cups per person anymore if there are more cups that i want i typically have my cousin carol <laughs> because she's always with me. I typically have her buy the other cups that I want. But the thing is, I've got so many Starbucks cups. I mean, Caroline even asked me yesterday, she's like, what do you do with all these cups at this point? I'm like, well, I just like collecting them and they're so fun. So anyway, um, I, yesterday I was in there and um, I saw this one. There were like three that I really liked. Caroline didn't, there was one that was kind of pinkish colored and Caroline didn't really like it. So I was like, okay. So I got this one, which I think is kind of fun for the summer. Got that one. And then... I think I have one almost exactly like this, but I thought this was so pretty. If I, if I find out that I have this exact same cup, I'm going to give this one to Tawny Jane. And I think they were $19.95 each. A $22.95 each. Oh, so I love this cup. This is going to be like my summer cup. Isn't this so pretty? It's like crystallized. But it kind of looks like a little pinkish a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. But like, sometimes it kind of like in the light, it looks a little pinkish. I love the Starbucks cup so much. Oh, and then I also got two big containers of Starbucks blonde iced coffee so that I could drink my iced coffee. But I'm actually, I don't have it in here, but I'm drinking out of a little pink, uh, like a grande. Like it's one of these and it's pink studded metal and it's grande. That's my cup that I'm using today. Okay, so those are the things that I bought yesterday when I was at Target. Now, I'm putting together my front porch when I get done doing it. I think all the plants are done at this point. When I get done doing it, I will do a huge exposed video over here showing you guys my front porch. You know, I do that every year. I take, I take a lot of pride in my front porch. I sit out there all summer. I love it. Well, I want it to be very, this is going to be the, the wrong word to use, but Brazilian. I, like back in the day, there was a movie that I loved and it was called Blame It on Rio. Have you guys ever seen it with Michael Caine and Drew, and, uh, not Drew Barrymore, Demi Moore. And um, it was about, well... <laughs> The topic's not very good, but I, the movie was so pretty. Like, they always had, like, all of these, like, um, beautiful, like, what do you call it, um, coverings on the couches and, like, the, the wall coverings were beautiful. And I always wanted to have, like, I ended up in, in my bedroom when I was in high school at my dad's house. I ended up having, like, that, that grass kind of stuff. I don't know what it's called, the grass, some kind of wallpaper that's kind of like grassy. And then I had all these like bright colored pillows and stuff because I wanted to live like on a Caribbean island, even though this took place in Brazil, in Rio. I wanted to have like Caribbean looking theme and whatever. So this summer, I was like, I'm going to get really colorful plants. Like I usually do like, you know, two really colorful ones and then some white ones and whatever. I was like, I'm going way colorful. So I was with my cousin last, I think it was last week. And I was in the car and I was like, I've got to get on Amazon and I've got to order some new pillow covers because the ones I have now are like blue and white striped and they're fine and I love them, but I wanted some new ones. So I ordered these on Amazon and you guys, I have to tell you when they came, they are so much prettier than I thought they would be. And I am so excited and they're like watercolor painting pillow covers. Aren't those so beautiful? Isn't this, I mean, they're unbelievable. I think I'm going to use this one because I only have two chairs, so I think I'm gonna use the two that are the closest together. Aren't they so pretty? And then the other ones I think I'll put on the back patio. And this one has a bird in it. Aren't those beautiful? I love those. I know there's somebody out there that's like, no, those are tacky, but <laughs> I think they're gonna be so pretty. And already people are walking by and they're like, Peter, we love your patio. It looks so pretty. I'm like, thank you. I take such pride in my patio. The one thing I don't like about Amazon is that when they have like this like stuffing like in the side here and then it like gets all over the place. So I think I'm done with that. All right, then the next thing I have to tell you, and um, I wanna give a little shout out. I blame Dustin Daly for this, fellow drama channel, Dustin Daly. He, um, who has checked in on me the entire time that I've been sick and has been so kind and so generous to check in on me and make sure that I'm doing okay. He's like even checked in with my friend Tanya and been like, is Peter okay? Like I'm worried about him, he's been fantastic. But I was watching um, this, I think it was like a TikTok he did or an Instagram or Twitter video or something. And he's like obsessed with, it's called like TikTok water or something. So, 
I watched this video and I was like, ooh, I want to make it because it's, he makes this water, or, or this is apparently a challenge or a trend that's going around on TikTok. It's not like he invented it or anything like that. But I reached out to him and I was like, okay, so what do I need to get to make this? And so he told me, and what it is is you get these Sonic cherry limeade packets okay which you can get on amazon they're real cheap and they come like this okay and then you have he makes his in a ball jar hold on a second this is like actually if i open this box well here i don't it's like a it's like a little carrier see that you can get anyway um, and then you put it in with 37 ounces of water in a ball jar, and then you mix it. And I also got a milk frother, because I've wanted one of these for coffee anyway, and I got a blue one, which I'm so excited about. But you mix it up with the milk frother, and then you put in two squirts of, hold on a second, two squirts of this unicorn, uh, unicorn dreams, skinny syrup okay now the whole drink is supposed to be zero calories because this is zero calories this is zero calories so it's supposed to be better for you than soda he says it tastes like tahitian a tree which i am like obsessed with and the only place that you can get it is walmart and i used to love tahitian treat back in the day so if it tastes like tahitian treat i'm gonna be real excited now i'm gonna be doing this video over on this channel i'm gonna try to make, I've been waiting, like I've had this stuff on my kitchen counter now for like three weeks. I'm gonna um, attempt to make this on my Peter Ma, or Peter Does Stuff channel one of these days, okay? So I have to tell you though, I also, because I wanted to be special and unique, I also bought the Sonic Ocean Water is another uh, flavor that they have. So I got the Ocean Water. And then I also bought, um, here's a unicorn skinny syrup and then I also bought cotton candy because I wanted to try some different mixes and then I also tried a got mermaid which I'm gonna put with the ocean one and see how that tastes the other thing is um, Dustin recommended this to me and then my friend Mel from my book club she was like oh my god you have to get this because this is so fantastic in coffee and on ice cream is this Tarani French toast syrup so I got that and I haven't tried that yet either so we will try that but I wanted to get some of these ball jars, which I actually bought some like a year or two ago. So I wanted to get some kind of like modern ball jars. The battery died right when I was getting into this. Okay, so I bought these Colo View, Colo View ball jars or whatever, because I wanted to do something kind of a little bit modern, like I said. And so I got these and they come in different colors and I really love them and they have little lids on them and stuff. And so that, like they have like this pale pink and then they have like this dark pink. I think there's a blue one in here. I don't know what color that is. There's like a gray. Oh, here it is. There's blue. There's all different ones. And then they come with straws as well. So you can, uh, the glass straws that they come with, which I think is very, very cool. So that's what I'll be making um, the drinks in. And I'm super excited about that. So all those, those are all the things that I have purchased recently and so it's kind of like getting ready for summer so this is kind of like my getting ready for summer haul a little bit and i'm real excited about this i've been putting this off well i wanted to show it in a video and then i wanted to make the drink in the video and then i can start drinking the tahitian treat supposedly we'll see if it tastes like that or not but i'm real excited about that um I haven't been drinking a lot of soda lately. I've been drinking tons and tons of water. And so for me to have something different, I think would be like really fun. So I'm really excited to try this. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have done the TikTok water challenge or whatever, and you have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section below. But like I said, I'm gonna be doing the video over on this channel and trying it out. So I'm real excited about that. So anyway, let me know what you think about all these purchases. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.